Can you please give Donald a little bit, Jackson? <laughs> Is it going? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Did you hear the rumor about Greg and Omrita? Yes. Um, what was the rumor that you heard? That they hung out. Okay. Um, how many people did you hear it from? Like ten. <laughs> um, did you tell it to anyone? Uh, no. <laughs> like I talked to it about people. I don't know if I told them. Okay. Um, so we made that rumor up and spread it to the binary community <laughs> to see how they would react. No to way. It. <laughs> and um, we'll know how you feel about that. <laughs> So we're doing our film on rumors, yeah. but what rumors should we do, slash who should be involved? Um, I think two people dating is pretty like simple, and um, a good one that we can do. Yeah, and the administration wouldn't have problems with that. Why don't we just do um, um, Rita and Greg? Um, Rita and Greg's not bad. Yeah. Um, there has been a rumor that me and Greg Newman are dating. <laughs> <laughs> It's not true, and I mean I don't really care. It's just kind of interesting to see if it's gonna be how it's spreading around Pinewood since it's such a small school that everything gets spread so fast. So if you have a rumor in middle school, which that's typically you know that's the rumor time, but high school too, and adults do it too. Um, but you know when you only have you know 50 kids per grade in a really small campus it t tends to as soon as it's out your mouth it's been spread around the school twice so um, just by virtue of size yes you know mm -hmm. and if your friend betrays you where do you go you're in all her classes or his classes and um, you know so it's like nowhere to go you know if you have a, a class size of 300 you know you've got group A, B, C and D but at Pinewood you got group A and Group A, part two, you know, it's really not that, not that way. So yes, it can be, yeah. When I first came to the school, some rumors had arisen, and it affected the way people saw me, and it made it harder to make friends, but quickly abolished the rumor, and then making friends was easy. At my other public school, it'd take like at least like a month for it to go around here. It's like literally by the end of the day, like everyone knows. I, I think it's it's one of that the the best thing about Pinewood is also the can be the curse of Pinewood, and that is that everyone knows everyone and feels really close to everyone more so than in a bigger school. Mm -hmm. And because you feel closer, you feel like you can tell things to other people because just the closeness. And so because we're small, it spreads pretty quick, but also because you feel like you know each person, you're more apt to trust that person and so you tell them things you might not just tell somebody walking by, which happens at a big school. Uh, you know, when I was in high school, I guess there was, you know, rumors in high school or in a small community happens, I think, a lot uh, easier. Um, but, you know, there's been stuff... Um, online can you know frequently happen a lot faster now but I was in college when I was in, in high school there wasn't Facebook or MySpace or anything so I didn't have to deal with that growing up which I'm really happy about. Social media I mean that's just that's that's a generational thing too I mean I'm not involved in it I mean I am to a certain extent because you have to be but um, there's a certain element of that doesn't speak to me but I see it causing all kinds of problems. I, I see it, it really preys on the person who's really impulsive and when you're young you tend to be impulsive so you're really mad right now so you press send and then 20 minutes you think better of it but it's too late you've already done that so you've, you've already annihilated somebody or or you know uh, you take in a picture when out of context you know in the moment it meant this but then with all these comments and people weighing in and strangers weighing in you know and, and sometimes people when they when they're online, especially when it's anonymous, it's an opportunity to wield power in the worst way. So you can say, you know, it's like saying to somebody, just kidding, you know, you're fat, you're ugly, and I hate you, just kidding. You know, it's like you can get away with saying a whole lot of stuff. And, and then anonymous things online, you know, people 
but is that true? And it's like, no, it's not true. And, you know, how do you go to the 3,000 people that have already seen it and, and plead your case and say, it's not true, it's not true, or it's taken out of context? And by then, it's caused a lot of damage to the person that... You have to have a really thick skin. you got to have a lot of armor on, you know, in society. Now, you have to tell yourself enough good stuff about yourself that a few things that happen online or you, or rumors or things like that don't, don't tear you apart, you know? So, you know, you can't let strangers tell you who you are. All right, so we made that rumor up and spread it to my own school. <laughs> that is so <laughs> to funny. See how it would spread. Oh my god. In, um... Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, was it a like an experiment thing? Yeah, it was. You both are. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that this spread around Pinewood, or do you think that most people kept it to themselves? I think it spread. <laughs> do you think this is a good well, experiment? Wait, 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 wait. What makes you say you think it spread? Because I heard it from like 30 different people. <laughs> like an hour. It's like 10 people to tell. <laughs> I think rumors in life are unavoidable. I think that the, the key is, is the more mature you get, the more you don't allow them to destroy what you're thinking because you, you have more self-confidence in yourself or you understand that everybody has these same insecurities. Whereas, uh, you know, in high school and in junior high especially, students are starting to find out about themselves anyway and they're not sure who they are. And you throw a rumor on top of that, it can be a lot more devastating. So so I think, I think it's just how you handle them improves. I do think it can be avoided just by what you're doing now. Getting information out, talking about it, understanding the problem of them. And so, so yes, they can be helped, but I think they're always going to be with us.